Hey, it's your sister Michelle here, dropping another video. You know how I roll the videos out. I love you all so much. New subscribers, come on in, join the family. Old subscribers, you know what's up. I love you all so much, y'all my family. Thank you so much for growing my channel. I'm wishing you love and light on your journey. You know how I feel. I love you all so much. 2022, no narc zone, and I'm actually working on the shirts. I'm actually working on it because I went to somebody and talked to them about it, and I'm working on it. So we're getting ready to have this in motion. I told you I was going to make some big changes in 2022. I'm also doing shirts that I think will be cute too. Now, you all drop down in the comments and let me know. I'm thinking about doing a t-shirt that says, a narcissist tried me. Yes! Now, I think that's it. I just got chills when I said it, so I know that's coming from a download from something big, baby. Yes, a narcissist tried me. Yes, we're going to have them shirts. We're going to walk around and let everybody know they tried it, but they didn't get it. Yes, your sister loves you so much. Listen, this video right here is about the fakeness of happiness the narcissist can show you. And what I mean by that, maybe I said it wrong, how sometimes you can be with a narcissist in certain moments. Because someone said this to me, I've had, well, several people say to me, well, you know, it's so funny. They do do all these bad things, but they also sometimes can act so kind-hearted and they can do nice things for you. That is very true. So we're going to talk about that. Let me tell you something. When I was with my ex-rat, my ex-waterbug, the ex-skunk, <laughs> ex-feline, <laughs> there were moments, and I've said this in one of my videos before, I talk a lot about the narcissist and all the bad stuff because the majority of it was not good, but I cannot sit here and tell you that every piece of it, like 100% was always bad because it wasn't. One thing about him, whenever he did get money from time to time, sometimes he could be a little selfish and greedy and just go off and do what he wants. But sometimes, a lot of times, he, you know, he would give me money. And sometimes he would be very nice to me. Like some days we would watch movies together and we would do certain things, acting like a normal family. And I said acting. And thinking that there is some goodness in this person. Now, let me tell you this. This is what I think. Drop down and let me know how you feel. I think the majority of the time, when those moments, moments do arise, it's because most of the time it's to back up a whole bunch of bad shit. You understand? Like my narcissist would do so much to push my buttons and get me so upset and do so much fucked up shit that he would recuperate in the relationship or whatever you want to call it and come back and do so-called nice things. And the reason why they do that is because they know this. They're not Most of them, yes, they're dumb as a box of rocks, but they have enough little bit of sense you know, to know that if I have to counteract this bad stuff with good stuff. But it's not sincere. Because even when they're nice to you and they give you all these things, it's not even worth what you got to go through for those good moments. Am I wrong? Yes, listen to me. It's never worth those good moments. Are never worth all the fucking bullshit that we have to endure. And most of the time, when you see a narcissist being kind to you and stuff, it's usually, like I said, to recuperate from some fucked up shit they done done. Or some fucked up shit you don't know they're doing. Or it's just a tactic to keep you also hanging on. You know how that goes. A lot of times we get to our wicks in and we're like, we get ready to get the fuck out of here. Then all of a sudden they want to start doing certain things for you. But that's just that bait that they put out to you. That kind bait to get you to stay in the situation. Right? Because you know good and damn well. And you know, I ain't lying. When they're completely done with you, they're so damn cruel. They wouldn't. They don't want to give you a shit when they want to discard you. They don't. They, none of that comes into play when they're fucking done with you. Right? When they find a new supplier, they go on and do whatever they want to do. That kindness goes right out the window. So you know right then and there that most of the stuff they do, majority of it, is just strictly a strategic plan to keep you holding on and keeping you stuck being mistreated. Or, like I said, to cover up some shit they've already done to you or they know they're doing. So don't get caught up in the fact that when a narcissist can be kind-hearted. Yeah, they can. They can be kind-hearted sometimes. So are serial killers. <laughs> There are serial killers, and I'm not lying, and you know I'm talking about if you watch the shows and stuff, I'll be watching them, and I like to watch that kind of stuff. Your sister likes to watch like crime stories a lot and stuff like that. You'll see that people that were serial killers have families, and their families are like, we had no idea he was doing this because he didn't act like this at home. He came home every day like everything was good, but they had a whole damn piece of somebody's body in their deep freezer. Am I lying? Same kind of thing. They know how to put on an act. But the core of who they are is there. It never changes. That's why I just gave you the serial killer thing. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Just like a lot of people, and not, unfortunately for so many children and, and a lot of us that are grown now, that we're at the hands of people that touch us inappropriately or molestation and stuff, it's usually by the hands of the kindest person. That's how they bait them in, right? It's usually the person that's the kindest to them. That's how they lure, you know, they lure kids in. 
Like little kids would, oh, I got candy for you. Oh, I'm going to take you, do so-and-so. And then they get them out by themselves and they mistreat them. Or they molest them or do things to them, right? It's the same kind of thing. It's not sincere. It's all a bait. That's what it is. It's a bait to get you in a web of being deceived, you know, be de deceived that they're kind so they can hurt you, mistreat you, use you, and abuse you. Right? Listen to your sister. So somebody asked me that. I was like, why can they be nice sometimes? I just told you why. And don't you fall for that shit. Shit. Jeffrey Dahmer, they said, was nice. You see, he had everybody's body parts in his damn freezer. Crazy fucking roach. And I said it, YouTube, don't block me. The narcissist is the same goddamn way. 